Hi everyone, my name is Francis Almendares and I'm going to be the artist for today's lesson. Uh, this is part of the Museum of Fine Arts Glossel on the Go at Home program. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, Julie Blackman's photograph. Uh, it's titled Night Movie and the reason I chose this uh, photograph was because it really inspired me in the way that it's so playful and active and uh, it's, it's incorporating a lot of um, techniques, photography, but there's also a film in the background. Um, and then it's a composite, so that means that it's taking a lot of images and pulling them together into one piece. Um, so this section is about expressing yourself, and in this section we're going to imagine um, Imagine being together again because of the times uh, due to COVID, we're not really able to meet with our family or with our friends. So I want to imagine what that's going to be like in the future when we're finally able to do that again. So in your packages, you should have uh, some of these items like the scissors and glue and drawing materials. Um, but also if you at home, you have magazines or any kinds of photographs that you want to incorporate or drawings that you've already made that you want to bring into this project, you're more than welcome to do so. So um, we're going to start off uh, just, you know, I have some magazines and I'm going to kind of look through them and I, I would like for you um, to, if you do have magazines or newspaper, any kinds of images that you can find to, you know, pull them out and you can use your scissors to, to cut them. And so I've already have some cut out already for us that I would like to use. And I just don't know how yet. We're gonna figure that out right now. So, um, you know, as I was going through the magazines, I was looking at a lot of images, for example, of the outdoors, the mountains, can you see that? Some more mountains. Um, the Caribbean. <laughs> and that got me really excited, especially these colors. The blues and the greens. And so I'm thinking I'm going to use that to imagine being at the beach again one day, hopefully. And what I'm gonna use is one of the sheets from the package. And I'm gonna start laying out some of these images and seeing what that looks like. I don't know exactly, um, I don't know which of these cutouts I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna test these out by placing them on top of each other and next to each other. So I'm just laying the images that I found in the magazines that I cut out and I'm placing them onto my paper and kind of just seeing what that feels like and looks like. Um, I'm looking at how colors are um, looking next to each other, uh, what kinds of images are on. For example, I have mountains here and it's kind of just this earthy brown color palette and then in this other image I have green forest, pines, snow and I also have these other smaller ones that I cut out of the beach with palm trees. So it's a mix of uh, environments. This one for example the Caribbean is this really beautiful blue beach. Um, but oh look I also have this one of a campfire. Then I have lots of blue that I want to use. So I think I'm going to go with the image of people. And just because a campfire sounds really good and it's something fun that I would like to do when it's possible again, I'm going to use uh, the black side of this paper. But if you don't have a black side, you can um, you can you can cover it with other colors by pasting, for example, I cut out blue paper and I'm pasting it. You can you know lay it on top. That's one way of changing the color of your background. Uh, you can also maybe 
color it in with crayon or with marker so whatever materials you have available and that you prefer to use you can go with that so with my glue stick I'm gonna um, apply it on the back side of the image of the paper especially on the corners so they're not flapping up and on the edges and this is just regular glue stick. And I'm gonna paste this over here on the bottom left. We have our campfire. And Let's just start trying these other colors. What does that look like? So I think fire and I think the color red. Let's try to maybe bring some blue in. Oops. So in Julie Blackman's night, um, night movie photograph, there's different things happening in the scene. You can see uh, one of the boys facing the projector and you see behind him that there's a shadow being cast. Um, there's also different parts of the photograph where other, other kids are playing around not necessarily um, watching the film, but instead playing with each other. So there's a lot of different activities happening simultaneously, and which is quite interesting because it, it makes the scene um, appear very active. And, um, you know, I start to think about what are, how are these kids interacting, not only with, uh, with each other, but with the space and with the film, which is, is really interesting because um, they're all like in their own world. And then the photograph, it's its own world itself. So there's like smaller worlds within this one world of the photograph. And Julie Blackman, when she uh, makes these photographs, they're essentially constructions because they're multiple photographs taken at different times and then they're composited together. And that's kind of what looks like, like simultaneously many things are happening. And in this collage, I uh, would like for you to think about what's happening in the scene. There doesn't necessarily need to be one thing happening. There can be multiple things happening. Um, and that could be done through the people that are in, the, in your collage or uh, different sections could be um, used to address different ideas like texture in one section and maybe color in another section or pattern or a combination of these things or maybe for example like here I'm cutting out these shapes of triangles and then assembling them together to create this um, other larger shape and I'm placing it above the image that I pasted of the campfire and it doesn't necessarily match but you know with just the color red that is so vibrant and and loud um, it begins to sort of accentuate the campfire and especially in this area where it's located on the bottom right it seems like our attention is being called to this section of the collage the rest is still blank so it's negative space at the moment but we'll work on that next that's week And I'm just cutting out these triangles out of the red that I found. But I want cleaner triangles, so I'm gonna cut, make sure my edges are 
are straight and I'm, I'm testing these out see what arrangement I like the most so I like this here let's see what happens if I make some blue as well or yellow hmm maybe blue Gonna try and make a circle for a moon. This is our final product for this project. And if you see here, um, I did end up using the red triangles and they're sort of near the center. And it's near the image of the family at the campfire, enjoying the, the heat from the campfire. And then we have another image um, of an older motherly figure. And then we have other shapes down here. We have squares. And then we have another triangle by itself. But I like the placement of it because it's in the foreground and then it leads you to the middle ground, to the red triangles over here, and it leads you up to the top. So you get a sense of foreground, middle ground, and background. For the sky, I ended up cutting out um, you know, the shape of, of a cloud. Um, and I used the white side of the paper with the tets for some white clouds and I used the blue side of the paper for blue clouds and then I actually found an image of a cloud and I tore the page around it um, just following the the shape of the cloud and the image so I pasted these up here and I used um, I used an image with black and gray in it and I cut a circle and I used that for the moon so now we have our outdoor scene with um, with a campfire a family at a campfire and then we have these other shapes creating um, the shape of a house so this could be outdoors in your backyard or it can be a cabin somewhere in a forest uh, wherever you imagine being and gathering together with friends and family so thank you for spending time with me and in, in making this collage and looking at Julie Blackman's work and I hope that it inspires you to make your own work uh, and to imagine and start thinking about the near future and hopefully gathering with friends and family again.